This video is sponsored by Chax. So, as she said, I am primarily a motion and video person, but I've been using Illustrator to make things for that for uh, more years than I care to admit right here. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do here. Uh, maybe that's bending the rules a little bit, but I'm gonna touch a different app in addition to Illustrator. So uh, this is a relatively new feature in here, and you could absolutely do it to make stuff just in Illustrator, but you can select things like this little logo here of, you know, uh, this, and you can come up to effect and 3D and materials, and you have all kinds of 3D stuff. There was some that was there, but they just gave you a whole bunch of new ones, I think last fall, sound right? Um, I'm gonna choose extrude and bevel here. Um, and so you can extrude this, whoa, right? Um, you can make all kinds of neat stuff, you know, make your pie charts a little bit more deep dish, uh, whatever, <laughs> there. Um, there are some really cool stuff. Revolve is super cool. You can just like draw a line and then revolve so you can make like a vase really easily. So just get in here and play with this. It's, it's fun. Um, inflate is cool too. You can make all kinds of cool bubbly stuff. Uh, but I'm gonna show you something around uh, in this that you probably haven't done before. So let's go ahead and just like stretch this out a little bit here. And there's some, there's all kinds of wacky stuff. You can bevel the front and you can, you know, uh, dial that in however you want. I'm gonna turn that back off for now. Uh, you can taper this and get like a cool vanishing point. And already again, that's a thing that'd be pain in the ass to, you know, illustrate manually, but maybe you can do it like this. Um, I don't know how often I would use this for a real thing, but it's fun right now because I can go, whoa. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, uh, you do get some preset um, sort of angles right here and, and you can come down here and play with these, but you can also touch this right here in your viewer and like, you know, just manipulate Whoa. it. And look at this, right? That's pretty, pretty sweet shape. Um, and that's not all. So you have a couple other tabs here. You can come over to materials and you have all this huge substance library right here in Illustrator. So I'm just gonna come down here and choose like this marble paint and just slap that on there. And Ooh. now I've got this, it's a little funky, but you know, whatever. Uh, and look at all the stuff that you can adjust about that texture now. Um, just to change one thing, I'm gonna make it this, you know, purple and cool, and let's go ahead and up the rep repetition so it's looking kind of neat. Um, you could do all kinds of lighting and stuff, but I don't have time because I need to show you the thing that we really <laughs> need to do, which is if you scroll down to the bottom of the object tab, you can export this as a 3D object and use it other places. So all you have to do is choose, in this case, either OBJ or GLTF, which is what I'm going to use, and then just click export and send that to someplace on your hard drive. And now I'm gonna flip over to After Effects and grab that thing it just made and drop that in here. And now I can, boop, put it right here in After Effects. I'm just gonna scale it up a bit. And there's my thing <gasps> and whoa, look at that. It's a real thing. I don't have a time, but let me show you this real quick. Oh, I made some keyframes on this, but I ran out of time. I was gonna give it just a little. There, oh my there's gosh! My finish. All right. Whoa. Well done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.